Hi, my name is Christy, and I'm the Director of International Admissions and Recruitment at the University of Northern Iowa. We're very excited to have you viewing and to share a little bit about you and I. I could sit here and I could tell you a lot about the size of our campus and how it's perfect for students. I could give you statistics about our majors, our 90 different um, options that we have, and I could go on and on about what a safe and great environment we have. But I think the best way for you to learn about you and I is to hear it from our students. So I'm going to turn it over to a great group of students who are going to take you through campus and introduce a little bit about their life at you and I. So here I'll have them introduce themselves. All right. Hello, my name is Cesar and I'm a Spanish diesel major. Hi, my name is Lopsong. Um, I am from Nepal and Tibet and I'm a biochemistry major. Hi, my name is Ulrike, I'm from Norway, and I'm a psychology major. Hi, my name is Sheikh Bali, I'm from Mali, and uh, I'm a senior in majoring in MIs. And I have the honor to show you guys around. Let's go! because I am a biochemistry major, so this is a science building. This is where I spent literally almost all of my waking moment in uh, this building. And oh, this building has so many cool stuff. Like it's divided according to like, you know, chemistry departments upstairs, biology, and then if you're doing earth sciences or if you're doing um, botany or any other type of biology, it's all downstairs. And I love that this building is like so nice for people to even spend time in other than just go to classes like, for example, we have a real like waterfall wall in our building. Like, how do I... So this is um, one of the classrooms I actually had a class in. Um, this is what an actual classroom here looks like. This is how intimate and small and a good class size we have here. As you can see, there'll be only about like 20 to about 23 people in a class. And um, it's really nice and we have really good facilities. Like we have projectors, we have all kinds of facilities that can help enhance like the teaching style more for the professor and um, also because the class size are so small I feel like it gives a really good one-on-one -on -one bond with the professor which I feel is one of the major ways to like actually learn better and by knowing your professor I have had personally so many good experiences just by getting to know my professor in fact one of my professors was the reason why I switched my major from a biomed to a biochemistry major. So I really love the bond that you can have with the professors here. And it's mostly because of this amazing small class size that we have.
let's go see the polar bear. psychology major, criminology, sociology majors have their classes. And it's a really cool building. The floor is actually um, made by a student. This is the black stuff in the floor is old chalkboard, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's see if we can show you a classroom. So my freshman year, I had my first psychology class um, in this classroom, which got me really interested in the psychology major, hence why I'm a psychology major now. So. Um, yeah, come along and we'll show you what it looks like. So this is typically like your bigger lecture hall here at UNI. Um, the classes, the class that you'll have in classrooms or halls, like lecture halls like these, are generally like the class that you take your freshman year of college, where it's like your gen eds and your core classes that everyone has to take. Um, so classes don't really get much bigger than this, and typically you'll have smaller classes like Goldson was talking about earlier. Um, in the science building, um, you'll have smaller classes with about, I don't know, 15 to 25 people. This seat right here was my seat, so if you come on over, you can tell that um, I sat pretty close to the um, professor that taught the class, and I know her and she knows me by name so that's kind of cool so one tip I would have for you no matter like what college you go to or university that you attend is to always sit in the front if you have the chance to an opportunity to sit in the front of your classes because that way you're you know you get um, more one-on-ones and you know, number and, one uh, tip professors love students that sit in front because they are the <laughs> one they want to interact with so yeah good job Woo! Woo! Yay! <laughs> If I ever be a good student, okay. trying. So where are we heading now? We are heading to the Union, the most exciting place of the campus. So uh, this is the Union, and uh, the Union is the center of the university. So sometimes when I have uh, uh, one hour between classes, I come here and I, there's always people that you'll meet here. So I have friends around, we, we talk for a little bit. It's, sometimes it's in college, when you have a lot of classes, it's very fun to come here, you relax, you talk to people, you can grab some food. Uh, sometimes when I don't sleep a lot, I, I come here and get some coffee. What do you get for some coffee? Um, I, I, this is where I spend all my money. Hey, oh, hey! Speaking of friends! Hey! Hi, guys! How are you? Getting coffee. Yeah. coffee. What are you getting? Um, I'm just getting a regular coffee. Okay. <laughs> what are you getting? Nothing. <laughs> oh, cool. Do you come here, do you come here a lot? I guess I should ask. Do you mind, like, being on camera for that? No, oh, that's cool. cool. Yeah, so, okay, you're just getting a regular, do you come here a lot? Yeah, every morning before class. Yeah, it's gonna pick me up. Yeah. Um, is this your favorite spot on campus, or like, what would you say is your favorite spot? Um, thank you. Yeah, this is probably my favorite spot. Yeah. Coffee in the morning, donuts before class. It's really, really good. Yeah. It's cool. Like, personally, I like studying in the library, but I have a lot of friends that likes to come and study in front of people. As you can see, there's, there are always people around. You can sit, study, and uh, we have the international office upstairs also, and uh, we've got the student involvement center also. Lots of events going on here, like right here. Like we'll have like live music. We'll sometimes have like different organizations having like their booth here. So it's like always lively. Like there's always something going on in the event. It's always fun to with friends. Yeah, it's a really nice hangout area. And fun fact: my first week in college, I will get lost a lot, and I will always find my my way once I come here. So you always find people. Because that can guess help. why? It's on the center of the campus. Literally, yeah, it's in the center. Okay. Okay, guys. 
one more thing. If you could say one thing to an incoming international student or um, a student possibly attending you and I, what would that be? What's your number one like advice or tip or whatever? Um, I chose you and I for a lot of reasons, and one of them is the perfect campus size. Uh, like the student teacher ratio is just perfect. You get the one on one. Uh, yeah, that's what we just talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah we just talked from about the that. president. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, I would say that if you came here as an international student to get involved, whether it's meeting new international students and or domestic students like myself. Yeah. Cool. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to see you guys. Yeah. Bye. See ya. Sometimes I like watching soccer a lot, so when there's a game, I always come here and I watch my games. So, right now we're kind of in um, the middle of campus. Like Shake said, the Mocker Union right here is kind of the center of campus. So over on this side, um, we have one classroom building, there's another classroom building, here's our tech building, so if you ever need help with your computer or, um, I don't know, what else, you need to install Microsoft Word, yeah, you can do that there. And stuff. Yeah. And we're heading to the library, the place where I spend more time than my own apartment. <laughs> You're such a good student. <laughs> Welcome to the library. Um, it's, there's not a lot of people here right now, it's probably because school hasn't even started yet, so not a lot of students. Usually this place is more packed. Um, very packed. Like, yeah, very yeah, packed. Especially this floor. Yeah. yeah, so around here you can see um, computers that are here for students to use. Um, so if you don't have a laptop or a computer yourself, you don't really need one. You can check one out from here for free. Um, you can use the computers around here. Um, yeah, there's lots of stuff that you can check out. You can check out calculators if you need that. So, you see, really nice new Mac computers. We have printers, we have scanners, yeah. all the good stuff. And it's all for free for students. So. Do you mind being on camera? Don't mind being on camera. Do you want to wave? We have one John right there. Yep, there he is. So oh, this, hey, oh, there's there us. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, this is your guy if you want to um, check out a laptop <laughs> or a calculator. Oh. Fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> Casual dab. Hey, what are you guys doing? Um, I'm looking for a book, so... Uh, Wait, you're looking for a book? Yes, and this can help me to, to find the exact location of a book, and sometime when I'm bored, I can explore the world. Can you show them? Wait, yeah. how come? Here, there's a campus 3D map. Oh, cool. oh, cool. Look Where are we? City cool. campus. We are, so this is the center of the campus. We were right here at the Mock Union. So if I am right, right we here. are yeah. here. Rod Library. The Rod Library. Cool. So if you, get, if you ever get lost, <laughs> you can come here <laughs> and you can find your way. quiet down here and there's not a lot of books that's because there's more floors to this library so the further up you go the more quiet it gets and the more quiet you have to be while studying so this is kind of like the hangout area where you can play games you, you can don't. grab a coffee or get something to eat right here like we have a book bistro we have Starbucks and we have a really good assortment of dessert and stuff so I just like chill with my friends like drink coffee here talk discuss about projects and schoolwork or we just play games to say camera hi Hello. <laughs> there's, there's one type of people, and, and then, then there, and then other and people. That makes us two. Oh, there's. Woo. Yeah. 
somewhere else around here. Check this out. thing about you and I that's what I think personally looks like things, I so. say, yeah. um, the Campanile um, we have a you and I tradition here that around <laughs> homecoming if you don't know what homecoming is it's uh, it happens in the fall it's basically a big celebration where we have a football game and you celebrate um, alumni people that have graduated coming back to the university around homecoming on Friday night students gather around the Campanile and there will be thousands of students here I kid you not um, and there's a tradition where at midnight you kiss the person next to you or your significant other oh, yeah I'm yeah, there upstairs. for the before I have not been upstairs I've been there and when you're all the way on top you can see the whole campus oh, and that it's, it's amazing oh, that's wow. Oh shoot guys, we're running out of battery. Oh um, really? I'll go, um, I'll just go check out a charger at the library and I'll be right back. Right. Yeah, the charger! Thank you, Rob <laughs> Library. Okay, let's go. places yes. on campus yep. yeah what do you think about this I love it so much yeah <laughs> the floor is really nice mm -hmm. this oh, is you have your really... own bathroom too yes that is so cool does every do you know does every room have their own mm -hmm. bathroom no you no. have kind of like a yeah super yes mm -hmm. well thank you so yeah, much yes, thank this you very awesome. much so yeah this is um one of the rooms in Lother mm -hmm. Hall the newly renovated building so really yeah cool. if you're thinking about coming to you and I this looks to be the place to stay or to mm -hmm. live in. So and you can go so creative with the rooms. Like look at what she did. Yeah, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. So these are pillows in which you can color them yourself. So purple. Yeah. yeah. So Captain America could actually be purple and gold if you wanted to. Well, you have a good day. Yeah. Too. Have a nice day. <laughs> good luck with your senior year. Thanks. <laughs> So where are we going now? To the WRC. Woo! WRC is short for the Wellness and Recreation Center. So that's basically where all the fun happens. That's what I would say anyway. Um, yeah. WRC is my uh, my favorite place, honestly. Like when I'm stressed and <laughs> I'm stressed and I want to get some sweat, I go to the WRC. Yeah. yeah, me too. I love swimming. So we have like two amazing pools, like the lap pool and the actual like fun pool with the slide that you'll see. So yeah. Hey, do you want to pass me the video yeah. thing? Alright. Hey, Caesar. Hello. Back in the frame. Yep. Back in the Welcome frame. Back. <laughs> so I have a fun joke to tell. Do you guys know why sharks live in salt water? No. Nope. nope. Can you guess? Think. Why do sharks live in salt water? I would give you a scientific reason, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my major. Um, so 
don't you think that they lived in pepper water and they would like sneeze? Ha 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 ha! Please tell me you laugh. Please tell me you laugh. I did. That's like, pretty that's... good. And I was doing a lot of uh, rock climbing. Yeah, it's fun. Wow. Anyone can do it. You can rent out stuff. You have to do it. So yeah, let's go check out. Actually spend a lot of time over here. Uh, you can come any day after school, rock climb. Um, you can also take a rock climbing class if you're really into it. You can become belay certified. And there's a lot of uh, tri rock climbing trips that we do all, over, all, all throughout the year. So, so let's you can go to take any kind of fitness classes here, like for example, Zumba or spinning or any dance classes in the classrooms right there. Hey Ricky. So down here at the WRC we have two pools. One of them is the leisure pool, which has a little slide, a hot tub. Uh, it's great for relaxing, for just spending time over here. You can come every day after school and just come with your friends, do whatever. And then you also, if you want to swim, you go to the lab pool over there, which it's a little bit colder, but you can just do laps and actually get a good workout out of it. Out of it so yeah, and this is. Um included in your tuition and fees when you're a student here, you don't have to pay anything extra to come here and use it. So, let's... so right now we're outside the outdoor recreation office here at the Wellness and Recreation Center and we're going to go inside and take a look and talk to one of the student employees in there um, and he's going to tell you a little bit about what you can um, do with the outdoor rec office and what they offer. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. So this is Ethan. Ethan, do you just want to kind of explain a little bit about what this office is? And sure. Here? Well, so our main gig is going to be just pretty much playing outside and we also run the rock wall here in the WRC. So there's basically three big um, things that we as a program do and one is gear rental. So we rent out backpacking equipment, um, uh, canoeing equipment, kayaking, uh, so we have equipment for whatever adventure you might want to do for rental. We also have the adventure trips and that's the meat of you and I outdoors. So we take groups of students everywhere in the in random places throughout the country, rock climbing, backpacking, yeah. canoeing and kayaking, spelunking, and those are available and open for all students. Um, and there are different prices for all of those, but we try to keep it very affordable for uh, our college students here at UNI. Yeah. And then we also have the rock wall here on campus. So we have that staffed by UNI Outdoor staff, and we try to educate people on um, safe and enjoyable rock climbing. And then we try to get people to go on those adventure trips with us so they can come play outside and, and learn and meet new people and get involved here through our program. Well, um, so this is a great way of students to get a job and um, be employed on campus. Um, thank you so much, Ethan. Everyone. Hey, thanks, home, Ethan. Thank Welcome, we are now in the UNI Dome. This is where football happens, so American football, if you guys have heard about that, this is where they have their games. Um, it seats about 18,000 people, so quite a lot. Um, yeah. And if you're a student here, you can get free tickets to come to any of the games. So if you want to do something on Friday night, you can just come, bring your ID, swipe it, and we have like specific seats just for, say, for students. So you can come watch a game anytime you want. Not only do we have uh, football games here, but we also have a track and field event. So if you're a runner, this will be also your place. And also sometimes we have movie nights with the big screen yeah. that you see over there. And uh, it's pretty fun to be, to be around. You'll, you'll really feel like the Panther Pride here, like when yeah. we come here and then we start singing our fight song and we like raise like our keys, so 
it's like one place where we all feel as one, like when we come here. So it's a yeah. really good, like, it's an amazing environment to be in. So we're getting close to the end of this little tour. Uh, we're heading for the business building. It's um, quite the cool building. Over so, there. yeah. So yeah, just come along. This is the last, your um, tour with us is coming to an end. So enjoy the Hey guys, so here we are in the business building. I'm a business major, so most of my classes are here and I also work here. So this is basically my uh, second home. And here is the Hall of Flags with all the flags representing students on around the world and students on campus. And here is actually my flag. And uh, where's your flag? Here. The only rectangle triangle flag in the world. Right here. That one. So like Sheikh mentioned, you can see how many different countries are represented in our in our campus. We have over 60 different countries that's represented here. So you can see how diverse we are as a campus and as a whole. As you can see, there are a lot of really, really good top-notch companies that business students from UNI have gone to, like Ernst & Young, FBO Financial Group, John Deere, uh, Principal Financial Group. But not we have a really good business college, but not just as a business major. No matter what your major is here, no matter what department you are from here, um, you have a really good opportunity to go on to get better jobs. And uh, in fact, I have been told that there are a lot of companies that really value the education that students get here at UNI and they seem to have a certain liking for students who've graduated from UNI. So I feel like as a, stu as a UNI student and as a senior, I feel like there is a whole window of opportunity that I can, that I can grab onto once I graduate. Ready to leave. Well, we thank you so much for joining us on this walk and tour around campus. Yeah, we hope you had fun and we hope to see you and I sometime in the future. Yep. All right, let's go. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, let's wait, go. Are we missing someone? Wait, hey, I, wait. Where's Shay? Where's Shay? Hey, Shay. Hey, Shay. Hey.